What would happen if all ice on the planet melted? The process of global warming has become irreversible. The permafrost has melted and the level of the world's ocean has risen by 64 meters. Holland, London, Venice, Florida, San Francisco, New York, and Buenos Aires no longer exist. How do you like such a good morning? Prepare to be amazed. Two-thirds of the world's population lives within 96 kilometers of the sea. We hope they had boats. Write in the comments where you live. The world map now looks like this. North America, 111,508,688 people died. 56,230,000 people died. 6 million people died. South America, 13 million people died. You can see the mountains in place of the Caribbean coast. Africa, 14 million people died. The global warming will make the continent almost unsuitable for life. Europe, London, Venice, the Netherlands, and most of Denmark remained only in people's memory. 30 million people died. Asia, 400 million Chinese died. 374 million people died. This is Cardamon Mountains. Australia, 25,000 people survived of 25 million. Did you know that the permafrost stored carbon, methane, and frozen plant remains? There was an instant global warming. Plants and animal remains rot, and they provoke spontaneous fires, which further warms the atmosphere. This affected the ocean currents, destroyed roads and buildings in Canada, Alaska, and Russia. The death toll has not been established yet. I hope you have enough of canned food. Harvest is no longer due to warming and pollution of the environment. Already in the first week, 10 million people died because of hunger. Hmm, something is missing. There are not enough mollusks, corals, and fish. About a third of the carbon dioxide is absorbed by the ocean. The pH level rose by 50%. As a result, many species died. Global warming did not spare amphibians. The first to disappear was an orange toad and frog harlequin. The decrease in the number of toads increased the number of mosquitoes and other insects. In consequence, 5 million people died. Warming led to drought, abnormal heat, hurricanes in the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Pacific. As a bonus, we have huge storm tides. These cataclysms will start to carry away a million people a year. Permafrost kept microbes and viruses for millions of years. The first outward burst of anthrax and behind it viruses, which we did not even know. Two billion people could not be saved. Will it be bad if all ice on the planet melts? Definitely, yes. It's good that Ifland has a magic button and we can easily rewind time back where there is ice in the Arctic and New York and Miami still exist. Have you got that magic button?